tied up with some scrap with Chris and some history. So we'll be there in a few minutes to land an island. Stand by. See that little guy not, but sometimes he gets two thirds of the way out of the window. <laughs> she hit a bump, his ass would be out in the wind in the woods. See, might do, might be too far away. Let me get a little closer here. Tailgate a little bit. Okay, nada. Ten minutes. We're going with the module today, and we're going with. Stand by a minute. Check the flow Black Widow phones today. These are the quietest phones I've ever used on the beach when it's really, really windy like it is today. They got volume control in each ear. Now these babies are probably 10, at least 10 years old, I don't know. They've been in the shop once to replace uh, something. In, no, the, the wire went bad. I had to put a new wire on them about three or four years ago. But they're nice phones. Today is a perfect day for them, as windy as it is. Okay, let's get with it. I don't see the mumbles man's truck though. Maybe he parked someplace else. Oh, I see his truck up there. You can't see it, but I see it. Well, it looks like Hadal goes on the beach. Horse rack, horse back. He's very angry today. Very, very angry. see any looters but I know there's got to be some well I don't see any holes anywhere I think that's a bad sign not one hole anywhere damn you can see it blowing right good well we got a solid 25 Solid 25. One penny! One penny! Black sand, we got a 25.30. Seems like 30 better. So I'm guessing another penny. The first penny was 29. This one ought to be a penny too. Twenty-five meager cent. Notice I said meager, 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 meager. Look at that. Twenty-five cent. Big money. Look, nope, we dropped it. Twenty-five cent.
another penny. That's three or four pennies we got. I'm working this black sand zone right through here, you see. A lot of black sand in here. I got the sensitivity at 17. I've got the uh, iron bias at 7, I think. And I've got noise cancel at 9. Swing speed at 7. This thing's nice. You can change the speed of the swing. I'm not going to mess with it no more today because it's too damn windy. But tomorrow, I hope it's better. Twenty-three out of the ground, solid twenty-three out of the ground. Twenty-five cent. Twenty-five meter cent. Choppy, choppy 34. Quarter it looks like. It was Hidalgo. Had a little teeny cut coming up right here. We had one back there, but everything seems to be below it. I had two guys behind me. They must have went to the western, I mean to the north today. I don't know who it was, maybe Beaver and maybe Mumbles, I don't know. I'll hear it later. 14. Bottle cap like me or nickel. It is a little scratchy on the bottle cap. Why don't we ever get it back? That is. Full tab of all things. So we 
they're both wrong. Scratchy 11. Scratchy 11. I decided I wasn't going to dig it, but my curiosity got the best of me. I wanted to see what it was. I believe I got a ring in the scoop. Looks like a gold ring, too. A scratchy 11. Got ice in it too. Look at that ice. I believe it's a real McCoy. Yes, sir. Reach 10. 10. Mumbles man. Hey, that crazy. Hey. I wouldn't normally dig this either, but it's a scratchy 13, 14. Jumping all around. It's better this way. Let's see what it is. I don't see anything.
whatever it was, and it fell out. A little. Little piece of copper, I think. Yep, that's it. Since I dug the gold ring, I dug one little teeny piece of copper, and that's it. Been 20 minutes, I ain't dug a coin or nothing. 20 minutes, same same zone. I don't understand it. It's bleak. Stand by. Well, here's a roundup. Six pennies, three quarters. Nice bottle cap, 14K with real ice, 12 baby ice. Two little pieces of copper, pull tab. And that's about it. I'll show you uh, in a minute or two how I had the, uh, the Knox uh, set up. Stand by for that. What held me up this morning? I had to pick up a big pair of loafers, a pair of Weiss garden shears, and some hedge trimmers. Yeah, I got a guy, a guy called. He had some Victor Knox knives he wanted to sharpen. I got a Victor Knox butch, I mean, chef's knife, a slicer, and a boner. That's when I had to, after I got all that stuff, I was ready to go. Okay, we're going to test the diamonds with the diamond tester. We get a green light, you know the diamonds are good. You see that red light? Green. Green. They're all real, but they're tiny. I don't know what the gram weight on it is. I can't, uh, I can't find my scale. I tore, I tore the whole house up. But it looks like it should have a mate down there. You can't lose one without hardly losing the other one. And I knew that, but I did not never find the other half of it. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, that's all I got right now. Let me finish this thing up. Rancho Max video. But it's not very big, weight-wise. Let me see if I can show you how I had this thing set up today. The noise cancel at 11. At the sensitivity at 18. I had 
had the sweep speed at seven, and I had, uh, I don't remember. Let's go through this thing. Maybe it'll jar them out. Of course, I'm in Beach 2. That's this doodad right here. And then, I grand, that's where I grand balance. I mean, I uh, not grand balance, but noise cancel at nine. Uh, I had the volume at 19. Had the threshold up at seven. Had the 50 tones. I thought I had five tones, but apparently I got 50. I didn't know it. Uh, I forgot what the hell that is. And the sweep speed at, I thought I had it at seven, but it looks like it's at six. I think six is factory. And if you hold it there, what well, that thing is flashing, you hold this button down, a line will come under it. You can change the FE to whatever number you want to experiment with, you know, with. It's just uh, it's a pretty neat little machine, I tell you. Backlight, you only know what that is. Mine's on all the time until I turn it off with this button right here. Uh, what else was I going to show? I showed you the headphones already this morning. Blackwood is with the uh, module. They work really good today in that wind. I think that's about it. I guess we're going tomorrow. Surf Church Sunday. I got I, those knives. I got to do those and take those back, but low tides not till like. I don't even know, 2 o'clock or so. You saw what it was like today, and that was like at 2.30, so it would be even later tomorrow. But, you know, everything was up high, so really don't have any much worry about the tide. You can go anytime you want at this particular stage. All right. That's the end of all this mess. We'll get this thing coming. I'll add Denny's stuff, and I got Beaver's pictures. I'll add Beaver's stuff, too, at the end. And I talked to Gigmeister, but he said it was just coins that he was, he was the way, he was south of where I was. About, uh, he was just south of the pier. You know where the pier is, but I never got to the pier today. It's just too, too cold and too blowy. Okay, that's it. I'm rambling too much. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. Look at big old Hank. <laughs> How big he is. Remember him when he was a teeny baby? We babysitting him right now. That's Beaver's nut. He hunted the land of Nana for a few minutes and then he left. He was got disgusted and went back to the bay for a while. Most of his clad and all came from the bay, he said, not far from his house. Let's go see if we can dig up the Mumbles man's now here. Yeah? The Mumbles man. You see, it wasn't a great day, target-wise. Just enough to keep your interest up. We'll have to see what tomorrow brings. I'll see you.